Some changes are coming to Waikiki to hopefully fix what some say has become a problem spot. A lot of you notice benches being moved and pavilions being cleared this morning. KITV 4's Tom George is live from Waikiki tonight. Tom, what's going on out there? Well, you see these pavilions here are still locked up, but they're empty inside. They're not going to stay that way for long, though. Some new vendors are about to be coming in, and some say they're desperately needed. It was moving day in Waikiki. After sitting empty for months, these pavilions finally getting some new life. Two of the four right along the beachfront have already been filled. One is a surf rental shop, another a juice bar. Now they're getting some new neighbors, something many in Waikiki have been waiting for since they say the empty pavilions have been a source of trouble. It's been a major concern for people down in Waikiki because it's been a gathering place for homeless and uh, other people that basically sit around and drink all day and do drugs. Just last month, a neighbor captured this video of fights breaking out at night and the pavilion gates being broken into. But ever since the two businesses moved in, things have started improving and city officials hope once the other two spots are filled, it'll make things better. So really, we're looking at to, to try and positively activate these areas. And that's kind of the point of the concession, to have something that benefits the entire community. So what's going in there? That's TBD, but most likely a concession stand. Uh, right now, we're in the process of more drafting the proposal of what we're looking to have in the way of you know what they would provide to the community, what kind of business they would have. But whatever moves in will have some prime real estate, and many hope that moving day will come sooner rather than later. Slowly moving in the right direction. And back out here live, the city tells me that search process, they're trying to get through it as quickly as possible, but in the meantime, these pavilions will be locked up, possibly at least through the holiday season. Their goal is to get those new vendors in by early next year. Reporting live, Tom George, KITV4, Island News.